Hello everybody, Multi here, back with some more Zenobudeto Kurosu. Um, in the last episode, we uh, did a lot of exploration primordia. I try, I started a bunch of as many missions as I possibly could, the ones that I will be doing uh, in the near future, or at least, or I mean, completing in the near future, because there's certain missions that we can do, but I don't want to uh, try to do them yet, because we can't, yeah, it's just not feasible, basically. Uh, anyway, start this episode. Immediately, we have our next uh, Frontier Nav Site 104. So we're, we'll plant our data probe. Oh, we can't because we need level three. We need one more. Uh, we gotta increase our blade level one more time in order to get this. And we're actually we're pretty close. We just need 500 more points. Uh, well, 500 more division points. So we just need to uh, do. Yeah, enough uh, Pathfinder work to accrue of 500 uh, division points, basically. So, yeah, we'll come back to this later. Um, unfortunately, Frontier Nav Sites, you have to plant the data probe in order to uh, like uh, activate the... Oh, no! Oh, no. We Yeah, we're not doing this. Oh, God, we're dead. Shit, of course he attacks my avatar first. But I think he'll put us back to the... Maybe he'll put us back to the... Back by the... Front nav site, maybe? Please? Please, pretty please, with sugar on top? Spices with that? Yes, thank you. Okay. Or no, no, it doesn't. It puts us all the way back here. Ugh. That's quite a ways back. Uh hang on, let's do Ah. Uh, so you can't see them, but uh the well, let's go up to Shadow Rise. Um This is the viewpoints. Uh, that we saw where it showed us where basically we got that big ah ooh ah look how big this game is moment yeah in the very first episode remember that yeah well this is actually closer to where we were before um all we gotta do is just jump down from here and uh, oh hello I spotted some debris from the white whale in the southern part of the grieving plains but I didn't have the skills to recover it myself so it's probably still there oh. And that's actually a segment right next to us, below here. Uh, let's go take a look at that. Because the thing is, uh, another thing we need to do in this episode is actually... We're going to continue exploring Primordia and uh, clearing segments as we go, if we possibly can. Um, because we need a 15% survey rate for Primordia, and currently we are at 12.53, so we are very close. We just need to clear one or two more segments, and we'll be right there. Uh, oh, it's... Right over here, isn't it? Did I try to do this one before and I wasn't able to? Let's find. It. Well, let me see actually, because it updates it. And yeah, I could do it. It's it's only level one, so why couldn't that guy do it? Okay. Yeah, so right right up here, all we gotta do is just uh just gotta jump up to it. That's the hard part. Uh, can we? Maybe if we go down, go around here. Oh, I might have to fight the suet, but maybe not. If I can just uh. Uh, sneak by it. Okay. Yeah, the female ones are less aggressive, so they won't aggro through sight, but the male ones will. That's how you can tell the difference, kind of. Uh, shoot, it's above this cliff here. Is there a spot I can possibly uh, exploit the jump and get to it? Maybe. I don't know for sure, honestly. Uh, it's not looking promising. This might be one of those things where they want you to come back when you have a special particular item. But I'd rather come back and do this now. Or not have to come back and do this. And I really want that segment completed so I can... Ugh. Are you... You gotta be kidding me. Okay, let's try and get up here, maybe. You'd be surprised the places you can jump up to. There's a lot... There's a... You know, there's places you can get to that you're not supposed to be able to get to. So it's very possible for, for me... But you just gotta find the right... Uh, you just gotta find some footing, like some something just barely level enough that you can stand on and then that'll, that'll allow you to jump up higher than you're supposed to. But it doesn't seem possible here. Uh, we can get on top of this uh, viewpoint though right here. So let's see if we can get a good view of what we're trying to get to here. Maybe. Yeah, we should be able to. Okay, here we go. Uh, all right. Uh, so we want to get on that cliff right there. That's where the treasure is. And wait a second, I see I see some spots we might be able to jump onto and get to a higher ground. Here, let's try this. 
Ooh, thank you. 10 reward tickets for doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, we're going to get those reward tickets mostly Luigi style, but just, uh, just by doing nothing. Because at this point in the game, uh, we're not in a good spot where we can just t quickly dispatch enemies uh, efficiently enough to actually get a lot of reward tickets to, and do a lot of the squad missions. Okay, here we go. This is working. Yeah. Making some good footing up here. Okay, I think we finally got this. We might be able to get this treasure after all. Careful, though, because it's, uh... So, take a look at your mini-map. Uh, whenever things are faded, that means they're not on the same, uh, elevation as you. And they might be lower or higher than you. In this case, this thing is lower than me, so I can just jump right down to it. Very good. We don't have, uh... This, unfortunately, it's not Breath of the Wild, so we don't have, uh... Our hang glider, but, uh, we can just not take fall damage, so that works, too. And there it is! We just cleared the segment, we got a Mining Probe G1... And that puts us at 13.67, so that's not quite there yet. We need 15% to do that uh, finny mission that I want to do, so maybe we'll do in this episode, who knows. But one of the things we'll have to do is uh, get FN Site 104, possibly. Uh, bottom line is you want to get any uh, Frontier Nav Sites as many as possible. Uh, and uh, there's another one that's directly behind uh, Starfall Basin. So Starfall Base is where we started the game, actually. It's where uh, we made Landfall, basically, or our Avatar did, and Elma found us. So we'll have to keep that area in mind for later, because uh, there's actually a, an upcoming Affinity mission that will take us back there, actually, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, okay, so here we, here we are, right here. So you can see, actually see it from here, but uh doesn't mean we can get to it. Let's see. Ah, <laughs> I hate when that happens too, like it just it throws you off, off guard too, because like it's so kind of, sh it's like very surprising. I hate when that happens, it's so annoying. These little four enemies, like come on, I don't want to fight these guys, they're too easy. Although I guess, I guess it's good that it shows we're making progress, the fact that we do have enemies that are just too easy for us. Uh, that right there is not too easy for us though, those, all those level 30 enemies there, oh god. Uh, oh no, I didn't see that! I didn't see the- uh, by the time I saw it, it was too late. Uh, let's get away, get away immediately. You might be able to escape as long as it doesn't hit me. Uh, and those 32 Duke Wills. Okay, thank god we escaped this time. Yeah, we'll wait for Elma to heal up real quick. And then jump down to this. Uh, is this another- this might be a treasure segment, and this might be it. I don't know, let's see. Uh, not quite. But, either way, we got something at least out of that. And, uh, there's another treasure... Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, so these are, uh... Whoops, I... Oh, I meant to press R. Uh, four faxes. There's, a uh, two crustacean-type enemies that are very similar to each other. Like, they, they look similar, but they have different names. And those are... But those are four faxes... And, uh, for the most part, those guys are far too high level for us to fight right now. Uh, but the Frontier Nav site is around this, uh, around this rock formation. Can we just swim around to the other side and get to where it is? Unless it's too high up for us to get to, that's possible. I'm just gonna swim around this, actually, because I'm really curious. Okay, this appears to be a waste of time, but I still wanted to show you this amazing view of uh, Mira's uh, moon, I guess that's supposed to be. Yeah, I guess Mira has a moon, and just... Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Like, uh, whoever did the art direction for this game, uh, like, everyone involved just did an excellent job at that, because, I, I, yeah, I love this. But uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to stand on this thing. I'm probably going to have to warp back somewhere. Let's see. Oh no, no, I can't. Yeah, like I said, you don't have to you don't have to worry about running out of air or anything. You could just swim as long as you want, as far as you want. I don't think they like the game will ever stop you from going somewhere. Uh, I'll try this real quick, and if not, that then I'll just warp back. Cause yeah, this is definitely not getting us to that FN site. And hey, this is a nice view of uh, NLA right here, actually. Oh my god, can this be like the thumbnail? Like just because it looks so good, like just this right here. Uh, and complimented by the Aurora Borealis, too. Oh my god, this looks amazing. <sighs> Just wanted to get a good, look, a good look at that. Okay, here we go. 
if I can get up here. As long as you can land on something, then you can uh, actually make pretty good distance, actually. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, okay, okay. This is getting us somewhere, at least. Maybe somehow up to the FN side? I have no idea. And to be honest, this is what I tend to do. Like, this is the thing. Um, during a typical playthrough of this game, I actually tend to go straight for all the uh, front two nav sites I possibly can as early as possible. Like, because that's that's just how I... That's the same way I play Breath of the Wild. Like, I always go for all the towers first because I want to clear... You know, I have this obsession to fill out the map first and then explore, basically. So, yeah, it's just that's just, that's just my thing, basically. Uh, so, here's the thing. Uh, this Frontier nav site, it's actually exactly where we started the game. Like, all I had to do was just warp back to Starfall Basin, and uh, I literally would have been on track to get the Frontier nav thing, basically. Or get the probe, base like, immediately. Uh, I kind of wasted my time basically going around this big circle, essentially, but whatever. It is it is what it is. So, let's get our... Yeah, let's get this uh, site. Please tell me. Thank you. It's level one. We can do this one. Alright. Uh, next up, we'll warp back to uh, Shadow Rise, I guess. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So I think we just need to clear one more segment, and then we'll have 15% on Primordia, because uh, that puts it that put us at 14.52%. Um, I'll have to take a look at my book because I might be able to tell you like the exact number of segments in the entire game. Uh, I can't remember like what the exact number is of each uh, continent because there's a uh, very similar numbers of uh, segments in all five continents. But there's also a lot inside in uh, uh, New Los Angeles itself. And uh, wealthy, what does that mean? Oh, so this this happens when you get 100,000 credits. That's right. Okay, so yeah, we are... Yeah, I guess we're fairly wealthy. And I could, if I want to, recruit a level 60 uh, blade for a little bit to help us out and get us uh, stronger. But, uh, nah, I'd rather not do that. I'd rather save my money for more important things. But... I do see a yellow box in the mini-map, and maybe I want to follow it? No, I don't want to. But that could be in... in okay, that could be inside, actually. Here's the thing. Uh, we are actually really close to a cave. And it might be worth checking out, but maybe not. Yeah, it's hard to say. Okay, let's watch where we're going. Make sure we're not approaching any enemies. Of course, you could also just, you know, pay attention to the red dots on your mini-map. That helps, too. Okay, so you see this giant waterfall here? Well, in between the two waterfalls here is a cave. Uh, let's go check it out real quick. Uh, I don't think we're going to find anything useful, but uh, who knows? You never know with caves in this game. You know, it's just like the caves and tears of the kingdom. You know, you never know if you're going to find something useful in them. Of course, I haven't played much of Tears of the Kingdom yet, but I digress. And of course, what cave entrance is complete without a Drew standing in front of it? <laughs> Ahoy there. I think Ahoy there is the most common greeting I see. So this is Headwater Cavern. It is not a uh, fast travel point, unfortunately. Uh, so we got level 10 enemies, so it looks like we're not too far under level for this cave. So we can just go ahead and explore a little bit. But these guys are kind of a little below us, so I don't feel like fighting them. But these guys, however, are not. And they're pretty small, too. Uh, add seculas. Okay. But they're in a very bad spot, so I don't want to fight them. So if I try to, then they're just going to... You know, our party members are just going to fall in the water, then they're going to be useless, basically. Okay. Uh, well, we got something down here. Let's go check it out. Oh, these guys can fight, though. But I'd rather not aggro them. I don't feel like fighting at the moment. And archaeological level one. We can do this one. Heavy rain screen. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but whatever. Okay, that uh, ledge over there we cannot get to right now. We need another form of transportation if you catch my drift to get to that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fight these uh, Bladas real quick. Uh, I'm going to do that off screen. 
and uh, earn some affinity with my characters as well as uh, possibly level up along the way. Who knows? But uh, I'll show you if that ha if that does happen. Oh, so after I defeat that first uh, first Blada, uh, I ranked up to uh, six on a uh, commando or whatever uh, class I currently am right now, and I earn an art. So this is a Shadow Rider. This is the uh, useful. Uh, art I was telling you about uh, in a previous episode that Elma also has um, and uh, we'll be definitely making good use of that. Um, I really want to go down this path because I want both Cross and Elma to have access to it because sometimes we won't have Elma in our party so it only makes sense that you're going to want to have Cross to have that uh, access to that, that uh, art because he's going to yeah he's going to be in the party at all times no matter who's in it so yeah. Just makes sense to have good use of it. Okay, so after taking on those enemies, we made some uh, good progress. Obviously, we acquired that arc, that arc by getting to rank six. Uh, almost uh, only 152, uh, only 150 more points, and then we'll be blade level three, and then we can actually get the that's a frontier nav site right out there. Uh, but I'm not going to count on that uh, for getting the 15% primordia. We're going to uh, continue on with our exp exploration here. And, uh, well, there's nowhere else we can go but, but further up north, basically. So, uh, I guess we'll, uh, go back around the, go back through the lake here, possibly. Let's see. Well, I'll just swim across here. Why not? Each that took forever. Okay, uh, now we got these, uh, pit, uh, teddy, bras. Um,. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take these guys on real quick. They're higher level than us, so if we got dug with us, we'll be just fine. Yeah, these car these uh, enemies are notable for their loud shrieks, basically, which I believe are supposed to, like, they're intended to uh, grant uh, debuffs on you, basically. So, yeah, not only are they anno uh, difficult on the ears, yeah, that one. Okay, so yeah, they inflict uh, fatigue on you, basically. Um, so yeah, not only are they difficult in the player's ears, but also that, too. Will do. Alrighty. And that one is underwater. I don't think that's supposed to happen like that. Like, it's just directly underwater. It's just acting like it's on land. That's just weird. Okay, so what's up here? Young Simeus, which I, or Suid, which I do not have any interest in entangling with. Okay, we just got a mare, uh, Arnace, Arnakian Orwood. I have no idea if that's the correct way to say it or not. Ooh, what do we have here? Uh, this is kind of risky, but it might be worth it, honestly, to take on these guys. We might gain... Uh, again, they're the same. They're on par with Doug. So, perhaps, uh, we might stand a chance against these guys. Let's find out. So, these are Suez. We're familiar with... We're more than familiar with them, but still. Uh, they're uh, higher leveled, so it's a little risky going for them. But, again, it's still lack of debuff arts. That's not good. Of course, he had to he had to turn around just the exact moment. Okay, how do I want to? Okay, so yeah, it's na it's only natural. Lin's gonna be struggling because uh. Oh, there we go. Oh, you know what? Good. Okay, I can revive Lin real quick. Okay, so whenever you revive an a revive a ally, you're going to be prompted with a B action command. If you are su successful. Uh, oh no, uh, of course I died. Uh, if you are successful in reviving a party member and get a perfect uh, B action command, uh, your party member member will get 80% of their health back as well as a TP bonus, I do believe. Um, yeah, it just depends on how well you do with that. Ugh. I could have done this. If not for the fact that we had to fight four of these guys at once. So it's just so ridiculous. Like, I don't get a chance to fight these guys one-on-one. -on -one. And here we are back at Shadow Rise. What the hell is this crap? Ugh. So tired of this. Hey, what level are you? Heather, what level are you? How you doing? Scouts. 
Okay, let's go. Uh, level 11. Never mind. Sorry for bothering you. Okay, uh, well, let's get this, uh, see what this is. We get this one? Yes, we can. Okay, yeah, that was just so disappointing that we had to get thrown all the way back here. Okay, this, uh, sick. Oh, is this the Sinicula that's part of the, the mission? Wait a second. You may recall there was a mission called Sinicula Assault by Connor. This has to be the one. That's that's it. That's the Sinicula we have to fight. And it's level 8, too, so it's going to be easy for us. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's uh take this guy head on, shall we? It's fair, Lin. It's only level 8. Calm down. We got this. We took on a level 2 Tyrant when we were... Uh, eh, I don't remember what level we were at the time, but... Uh, we've taken on a Tyrant Sinicula, so we'll be fine. But uh, Sinicula's do tend to have a lot of health. They might not do, be able to do a lot of damage to us, but it does have a lot of health, so it might take a while to take down, basically. You want to keep your distance, though, because if you touch the legs, you might get uh, knocked back, basically. Oh, seriously, we aggro the stupid Suid, too? Seriously, why can't we fight, like, any enemies without aggroing others around? It's getting kind of ridiculous. It's, like, really annoying. Ugh. That's just... Yeah, I love this game a lot, okay? I, I talk about it a lot, but, like, there's there's gonna be there's still gonna be problems, like, with every game that I love. So, that's just the trade-off to it. It's not that we can't defeat that Suid, it's just that it's just annoying that now they're gonna focus on that but I'm going to fix that now with that. And because I was distracted, I missed out the missed on the soul voice. Come on, Lin. Please don't die. Please don't die. Okay, we almost got the Sinigo down. There we go. And we complete a segment. Awesome. And this is good. We don't, have to, we don't even have to go back to uh, talk to him to do that. Nice. All right, let's get rid of these jerks. Okay, uh, it'll be a little bit before I can heal Lin, but uh, yeah, I'll be fine here. There we go, finally. Okay. Blade level up, yes! All right, uh, let's go talk to Eleonora. In fact, actually, it's a good stopping point anyways because uh, we're already at the 15% mark, but uh, yeah, still, that's really good. I always, I'm always happy whenever I do get the blade level up because uh, yeah, it's very exciting to be able to scan, uh, do more, to uh, be able to upgrade those field skills, basically. It's always a... Uh, Always a joy being able to do that. All right, there you are. I just hate when you need to talk to someone, you have to wait for them to spawn in. Like, I, I deal with this problem in real life all the time, I swear. This Moses right here. Lighting options available. New lighting options are now available in the Blade Barracks. Again, that's something I need to show off here real soon. It's the gift of light. Now you can adjust the lighting in your barracks. Set however you like. Make it dim, calming, or bright and beautiful. Oh, and if you didn't know, you can customize your barracks by using the console. Beside the entrance to the Blade Network lobby. lobby. Now, onto your bonus field skill. Okay, so once again, mechanical, always. Let's see, warning bonuses. Please come report to me. Blade level price again. You know where I find. Will do. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna get that. Uh, I'm gonna get Frontier Nav uh, Site 104, and then we will finally start that Fanny mission I've been hinting at for so long, or wanting to do for. Literally the entire past episode, basically. <sighs> but it's so tempting to just go around collecting all these collectibles, basically. Like, how can you not? Like, you see all this crap you want to get. Okay, it honestly makes more sense to warp to Shadow Rise, because that's much closer. I swear, whenever the character jumps like this, I'm thinking of the Hulk. Like, is, does anyone else think of the Incredible Hulk whenever he sees or just the Hulk? The, you know, the movie from 2003. Like, he's always jumping like this. And that's the case with a lot of superheroes, actually, in movies. They tend to, you know, do this, uh, this typical jump like this, sort of. A bunch of long jumps. They do this in the Matrix, too. So, I swear they got this inspiration from somewhere. Okay, being care very careful not to aggro these level 31 Grexes. Let's get this now. There it is. FN Site 104. And, uh... Yeah, we're making very good progress with the uh, Frontier Nav sites. Now, time to head back to the Blade Barracks. Uh, first things first, we will uh, take a look at those uh, customization options, and then we'll finally get on with this uh, Fanny mission. Uh, 
more often than not, I'll probably actually uh, have Fanny missions in the beginning of episodes, not the end of episodes. But uh, yeah, this time making exception because we were, we were basically blocked from doing the Fanny mission. So this is the customization center. We can customize our barracks. So first of all, with colors, common room, and you get to choose between uh, uh, six shades of gray, basically. <laughs> Yeah, that's all we can do for now. Uh, I'm going to stick with the current white. Uh, we'll have more colors later. And DIY novice, just for doing a simple thing, basically. I mean, uh, we can make this black. That looks cool. Or gray, or dark gray, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it looks like we're kind of we're kind of low on customization options, but we'll get more later, I guess, as we get higher. Uh, scale hanger? Uh, sure, why not? Yeah, just all shades of gray. Okay, fine. Uh, oh, wall decals? Is that it? Oh, here we go. So we can change the decals. Uh, well, since we're inter uh, uh, reclaimers, might as well put make it reclaimers. So we'll change it to that. Because reclaimers are reclaimers are the best. Actually, I like the blue lighting, so we'll go with this one. So that's the lighting. And uh, also, as you saw, uh, I haven't showed this yet, but uh, this is where the uh, hologram center or hologram room is. And you can change the uh, hologram to whatever figure you have uh, picked up, basically. Oh, uh, let's see what we got. Do we have any? Okay. Let's play random figure. This is literally the only option we have. <laughs> uh, just uh, basically showing off our uh, right to se our Second Amendment right, basically. Uh, yeah, that's the that's the true American way, basically. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, well, anyways, folks, uh, it's finally time to take on this affinity mission. We've been waiting on this for so long. Unfortunately, Doug, we're going to have to let you go just for now, just so we can do this. But he'll definitely be back in the party after this, because he has ve been very, very, very helpful to us, actually. So, very, very happy to have him with us, but for now, let's do this. Take on this mission. If you accept this affinity mission, you will not be able to switch out essential party members or accept any story missions until the affinity mission is complete. I accept these terms. Let's do this. We have visitor. Hey, you busy? Monty's team botched a job, and we need a cleanup crew pronto. Monty? So it's a reclaimer mission? Did we find a chunk of the white whale? Chunks, plural. Bits and pieces have been washing up around here lately. Someone needs to go round them all up. Hmm? Oh, uh, yeah. Those guys are fine. They lost some gear, but otherwise, no big deal. Hey, maybe we'll even find some materials we still haven't been able to synthesize in NLA. Yeah, the Reclaimers are all fired up, too. Just remember, the area hasn't been cleared of indigents yet. It could be dangerous. For an inexperienced team, at least. Which is why you came to us. Am I right? Bingo. I am asking a few other top teams, so if you want the job, you best shake a leg. Tatsu, not let anyone steal this glory. Team Tatsu, move out! All right, we were soldiers. Debris from the White Whale has been detected on the shore north of New LA. Head there to retrieve it. So this is going to take us actually straight to the northern, uh, the northern end of Primordia, actually. So yeah, once again, more unexplored territory in this episode. But uh, yeah, this time much more unexplored, like way, way far out, basically. Uh, but. Again, the problem is we haven't actually gotten there yet. Uh, but we're gonna have to just since we're doing an affinity mission, affin since we're doing an affinity mission, we're gonna have to just make a straight beeline to that area, basically. So we'll uh, we're gonna warp to the closest possible uh, warp point to there, which is the Silent Mire, I guess. It's either that or FN Site One Twelve. I guess? I mean, they're both equally far away from there, so... Uh, we'll do FN Site 112. 
it's still pretty far, but uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll make it. We'll fight enemies along the way there and kind of uh, look around a little bit. But uh, geez, it looks like we're not even that far from NLA. Wow. But uh, yeah, it's... Uh, the thing is, like, there's a stretch of Primoria. It's very short, like north and south. So we're not too far from the beach, even though we, even though it looks like we're close to NLA, we are still not too far from the north part. Uh, yeah, why not get these collectibles here? So you've probably seen a lot of these land masses, like throughout Primoria, that we want to see the top of, like uh, this this structure right here, this giant rock structure, um, and maybe even that one way up there. Um, you're probably seeing a very curious creature up there, too. You want to know about it as well. Well, this is a Xenoblade game. Anywhere you can see, you can go to. Eventually, at some point. It's technically right. Oh, boy. Uh, here it is. North Point Beach right here. Yeah. We were actually much closer than I thought we were. Um, but the yeah, our objective is still quite a ways away, so we need to kind of uh, uh, form find our way around here. Level 29 Sinicula. Wow. Copper Sinicula. So, uh, yeah, we won't be fighting this guy. It's obvious. This is a little ways off the beaten path, but I wanted to check it out anyways. Like, all these collectibles here. What? Oh, God. Okay, so this is a Levitath. I do not recommend finding this thing ever on foot. Like, even after you get past level 45, I uh, still, still do not recommend finding them on foot. Uh, that's all I'm going to say on those. Um, but yeah, I just want to get these uh, other collectibles around here real quick. Oh, can we climb up this structure here? It looks like we can because there's a lot of points you could jump up to. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Like this. Yeah, people have uh, really uh, pushed the boundaries of places you're supposed to go on foot. It's just by using this... Uh, Highly exploitable jump, basically. Like, let's be honest here. Like, you should not be able to jump this high. Uh, but hey, platforming in an open world RPG. What's not to love? Okay, so let's put this right here. Oh. Level 18. Uh, do I dare attempt this? We're not even close to one of the spawn points, but... Uh, you know, screw it. I'm feeling rather stupid today. Let's fight us level 16 Blada. And I just realized we don't have Doug with us. Oh my god, I may have fucked up. Here, let's uh, concentrate fire, just be safe here. But unfortunately, Elma's in a bad spot, so maybe that won't work out. If I manage to defeat this enemy, I'm going to be really surprised, like really shocked. But we're just gonna do our best we can. Okay, so far halfway down, not bad, not bad. We might actually have this. if, As long as you don't aggro the other ones around us, I'm gonna stay away from the other two, just be safe. Oh, no. That's too close to the other one. I don't like that. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, we got rid of that uh, appendage there. So that's not good. Not bad. Oh, please get away from that other one. Please, 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 please. Okay, I'm going to... Almost there. Almost got it. Okay, that was no problem at all. I don't know what I was worried about. We got that. But dang, we got a lot of experience out of that. And we Did I get an art? Oh, it doesn't look like it, but I got a skill or something. Let's see. A uh, combo gunner, I think it is. Boost damage by 25% when triggering range combos. Okay. Eh, I'll stick to the ones I have. All right. And also, Lin got one, too. Does I haven't attached any... Okay, I haven't given uh, Lin any skills yet, have I? Okay, we need to do that. Oh, but she only gets one so far. Eh, that's something at least. Okay, what about Elma? She's got a steady hand as well, so we'll give that to her. Okay, what about uh, Lin's arts? Maybe we can upgrade some of these, actually. Okay, let's... Yeah, let's upgrade her Bombardier. We'll upgrade everything that's level 1 currently to level 2 first, because that's the... That's pretty easy. Okay, then maybe some of these to 3? We'll focus on the... Oh, uh, oh, that's it. Okay. All right. Uh, what about Elma? 58. Okay. We can level up a uh, Shadow Runner here. That's pretty much all of the BP though. So let's wait. For, let's wait on that. Get her more of these. 
Uh, that, okay, that one too. But, uh, yeah, that'll have to do. Okay. All right, back to what we we're doing. We need to, oh, hey, what's that down there? Can we get this? Hello. So kind of wandering off on the beam path. I'm sorry. And those enemies, uh, I'll have to remember those for later. Come back to maybe with Doug. Okay. But for now, let's get away. Now, there is a Frontier Nav site up here. But if I'm not mistaken, this one you cannot get right now. But I could be wrong. Oh. Oh. You know what? Actually, yes, so we can get this one, yeah. Yeah, it helps to actually go out exploring before you do these affinity missions, because then you're having to be exploring while during the uh, during the affinity mission, unless you want to make a beeline for the objective. It's possible. Okay. This one's level two. Just make sure you have your... Make sure you're doing your mechanicals, uh, mechanical upgrades, and you'll be all good on that. Okay. Our objective is straight ahead here. Might actually be finishing off the basic mission right here, too. Oh. <laughs> Anybody looking forward to that up there? You can see the thing in the center of the camera there. <laughs> Man, that, that landmass you can see out in the distance. Uh, fond memories of that place and looking forward to having more here in the future for this LP. Uh, but first, we need to focus on the task at hand here. And we can see all the debris right here, actually. Uh, so we're gonna. So basically, our objective is to collect all three of these pieces, basically. So let's get them. And I think some of these, or a couple of these at least, will give us the. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, maybe, maybe a probe at least, or maybe these are since these are just mission based, they're not going to actually give us anything. Probably not. Oh well. I got my hopes up for nothing. Pretty much anything is possible whenever you're doing a mission in this game. Team Tatsu, mission complete. Yeah, it looks like we've got everything in the area. I sure hope they can get something useful out of all this. Well, well. Beaten to the punch. Hey, Doug. Gotta hand it to you, Elma. You work fast. You must be the other team Vandom sent out, huh? One of them, anyway. Thought we made pretty good time, too. But then you always were one step ahead. Remember? Back when Earth was hit. That lone skell that struck back before anyone else? Guess whose skell that was? Wait, really? Elma, that was you? That was a long time ago. And it didn't change anything. Come to think of it, that was a tandem skell, wasn't it? Weren't you with, uh... It's a distress call. Signal originating from... That's Arena's ID. And not far from here. We'll go ahead. We can link back up later. Team Tatsu coming too! Very curious to hear more about what Doug was talking about. They, oh boy, these guys are part of the squad mission. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, fellow squad members, but I am not going to uh, even attempt this. I can, I just can't do it. All right, well, it's uh, pretty far away where we actually have to go. It's like, uh, well, I wish I could show you the full map, but I don't have my camera ready to record my gamepad screen, unfortunately. But uh, let's just say it is a. Uh, way the hell out there. You see that cliff jutting out from that from that rock formation there? Yep. That's where we have to go. All the way out there. And uh, behind that, you can see another landmass we haven't we haven't gone to yet. And again, really looking forward to uh all the memories that I'm going to be having there in that in this let's play. But once again, getting ahead of myself. Let's uh get on here and avoid aggroing these sewage, please for the love of god. Thank you. Okay. Stop running into rocks. <laughs> of all the things that could be be my obstacle, rocks. Seriously. Oh boy. Uh, not a friendly neighborhood. Let's uh, keep our distance from these guys. Okay. Uh, more down there. Oh, there was a treasure behind me, but uh, yeah. Uh, 
probably up there. Uh, we'll have to come back for that. I swear one of these is going to get us the uh, item for the uh, mission, the basic mission we just got early. Because we, uh, we're just missing one item for that one basic mission. Normal mission, I don't remember which if it was a normal or basic mission. I don't even remember. Oh, I want that. I really want that. So I'm going to get it. If I can. Please, let me get it. Thank you. Okay, uh, and obviously with it being a new area, more things we can get. These enemies right here, they're pretty pretty—they're pretty uh, interesting to fight, actually. They make they sound like dolphins, basically, but uh, I do not want to demonstrate that right now, if you, can, if you could imagine that. Uh, so how are y'all doing today? Uh, I guess I should mention that uh, since we're, yeah, since we're on a long journey here, and also freaking love this part of the song. God, I just wanted to enjoy that last bit of the song right there. I wanted you to as well, because uh, yeah, I I haven't mentioned I haven't gone much into the music in this game, and uh, we'll have plenty of time to do that because this is a very long project. But still, just know that there are so many fantastic tracks in this in this game, so many. And I I'm gonna be like uh, sharing some of them in the intros, obviously, as you've probably seen. But, oh, <laughs> I'm going to jump to my death now. <laughs> okay, not really, obviously. Uh, but, uh, yeah, honestly, I would do that if it was in real life. I mean, not going to lie. Not going to lie. Oh, these guys. Now, these guys, I can definitely fight them. Especially since we just got a spawn point and... Uh, okay. Oh, come on. Apparently, you can't... You can't press two buttons at once. I was zooming in there, and apparently just because I was doing that, it wouldn't count me hitting the B button. Sorry. It's actually very good that we're doing all this battling on the way to the mission itself, and you'll know why once we get there. Because, yeah, you always want to take any opportunity you possibly can to uh, grind levels and get yourself up to a uh, higher experience and uh, classes, too. Because we're still missing a bunch of a couple arts on our palette, essentially. And I do not like that because I could use some uh, debuff arts in a whole different planet. I, yeah, I can't sing this song very well, but it's got pretty good lyrics. Uh, the song is called Black Tar, by the way. It's it's really good. I highly recommend it. Uh, you can find any tracks on YouTube. Okay, uh, uh, level 16 Grex. Uh, do I want to try for that? I mean. It's still part of the squad mission, so it might be worth it. Okay, let's take on some Grexes real quick. Like Get some more practice with com practice combat in. Please don't let that uh, Sinecula enter the battle, for the love of God. Oh my God. If that level 32 Sinecula walked into the battle, I'd be... Uh, I would be pulling my hairs out right now. Oh, jeez. That pounce attack was pretty devastating, actually. Please, guys, just concentrate fire. Now finish this damn thing off, please. Or thank you. Okay. And finally, everyone's level 13. Good, good, good. Okay. Which is a good segue to... Uh, what? Are you kidding me? Seriously? Ah, uh, fine. We'll see if we can do a level 16 then. We're about to find out. I could use Shadow Runner, but I just don't feel like showing it off quite yet until it's extreme. Until it gets to that point where it's extremely useful, because it's it it can be it can be quite broken. I don't know if it isn't like during battles. I've only ever used it like outside of battles, honestly. But uh, yeah, some arts can actually be extremely useful outside of battles, not just in battles. If you can believe it. Yeah, topple. 
slash that tail right off. That's kick ass. Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it, Elma, when that happens to you? Yeah, I wasn't having fun earlier either. Okay. Almost got it. There we go. I didn't quite complete the squad task, but that's okay. I just want to get on with the mission now. Uh, because I really, I really love to see these, uh, those uh, story-based cutscenes. Like they're very, very interesting. Like whenever the characters talk about the past and the lore and stuff. So, you just want to like m move on to learn more about them. Basically, that's what makes these affinity uh, missions so appealing. Basically, we get more behind this, be more story stuff beyond just the, the actual story itself. You know. Uh, so, anyways, uh, we need to. Uh, it's right up here. How do we? Okay, I probably approach this from the wrong direction. That's probably. I think that's the issue. Because if we jump along here, we'll probably lead us to the right way we need to be. Yep, this walkway here. This is what this is what we were supposed to go to. But can you really blame me? I mean, look at this. Like twenty level twenty four Grex right there. Yeah, I. I that's. There was no way I was gonna go the right way this, to get to this. Okay, just gonna make our way up here. And we'll see it as soon as we get there. Elma? Irina's signal is coming from deeper inside. Looks like the only way to reach them is through here. Then we better get moving. Come on! Katsu will protect rear flank! Yep, you know what this means. We have ourselves an Intimidator Simeus. And I believe it's a level 15, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, 14. And it's also part of a squad mission. That's perfect. Okay, well, uh, let's see if we can approach from behind. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, now when it does that, okay, here we go. Yeah. This thing's big, but it's uh, on our level, so we might be able to do this. Okay, okay, okay. We need to aim at the. Get rid of that freaking appendage there. Are you kidding me? Seriously, that one hit? Ah. Uh. So this is a problem, though. Like whenever you are dying to an enemy in, like when you're struggling with an enemy in an affinity or story mission, this is where it's gonna become becomes a big problem. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna get this. Lynn's not gonna do this on her own. Well, we got down to almost half HP, but that's still pretty bad that we're struggling with this. Okay. And again, all the way back here. Seriously, why? Why do this to me, game? Oh, good, good, good. Topple, topple, topple. Yes. This is good. This is good. This is good. Okay. I had to do so much backtracking just to get to this part because, yeah, because of how far it put me and also because you have to, like, I have to run, like, a. Uh, Come on, top, topple, 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 please. Uh, not quite. Come on. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. See, Lin's down automatically. Like that attack is so devastating. Like when it charges at you like that, you're basically screwed. But we're so close here. We almost got this. We almost got this. Ah, uh, dang it! I did. I did. I should not have used that uh, that attack there. Oh no! Just me! Just me! No! 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 This is not good. I can't do this on my own. Like, there's no way in hell. There's not a chance. You're not gonna. Yeah, you're not gonna convince me. I can do this on my own. Uh, I can't. No one's there to heal me. That's the problem. Oh my god. Okay, what's what's going on here? Where's the uh did I why can't I use my Does it prevent you from using certain arts or something? Like, is there attack that does that? I, I don't know, I don't understand. Uh, 
Oh, I almost got it. Look how close I was there. I was so close. So close. Ah. Uh. And of course, putting me right next to an enemy that could aggro by seeing me. Oh my god. I don't want to fight all these extra bladas. Why do they have to be placed along the path here to the stupid Simeus? Oh my god. Uh. Okay. Now let's have another go at this battle, shall we? On straight fire. It's very, it's possible. Like, it's basically, uh, the fact of the matter is, like, all of the party members who are restricted all, happen to be all the other ones that are available to us at this point. And, uh, technically, there are many missions I can do that would, uh, that will unlock, uh, other party members. So we could have fought the Simeus with four party members, and that would have made it a little easier. Probably a lot more easier. But, uh... Yeah, unfortunately, that's not the... This is not how I've chosen to play the game, so that makes this battle a lot more difficult for us, basically, despite being only level 14. That's just an uh, unfortunate reality here. Okay, uh... There we go. But this time we actually got it! We actually had good luck. Any sign of Arena? There! That's Arena's. She didn't... fall off the cliff. We need to check. Let's head down. But, uh can't take fall damage, so Irina falling off the cliff is not really a big deal in this game. <laughs> Just gotta remind the game of its own, uh... Oh. Okay, fine. Level 3, archaeology. Won't be able to get in that for a while. Blur. But, let's go down. Okay, so, let that battle serve as an example of how random... The nature is of these battles like whether you win or not essentially because we had actually an easy time with the boss that that time but every other time it was freaking hard so yeah with a lot of cases it can be just random whether you win the battle or not it's, it's basically up to chance but uh here we are There you are. Thanks for clearing out the riffraff up there. Sure. How's it, Rena? I'll be fine. Doug already took care of all the key repairs. All right, Doug! Nah, I mean, come on. It's the least I could do. Especially while you were all busy up there kicking indigent asses, right? You dropped this. You had us all worried, you know. Thanks, Colonel. Lieutenant! Huh? Look who decided to show up. <laughs> what? No, I... We split up looking for parts, and then next thing I know, got this SOS and... And you're late, Gwyn. And I'm late. Cut him some slack. He must have really hauled it here with those stubby legs of his. It doesn't matter you weren't here first, Gwyn. I'm just glad you're here. W well, sure. I... I'm glad, too. Because now you can carry the lieutenant all the way back to the city for us. Yes, sir. All right, folks, it's time to report back to the Blade Barracks after I take care of this. Because, yeah, why would I leave this behind? Oh, that's why. Because it's level four and I'm level three. <sighs> fine, fine. Uh oh. Okay. Third time's the charm. Guess not this time. Nice work out there. The Reclaimers are going over the parts as we speak. You'll let us know if anything comes of it, right? You got it. I don't mind telling you. I'm a bit surprised your team found all the parts and rescued Arena. Maybe surprised isn't the word. More like disappointed. In the other teams, those slackers have a few thousand push-ups coming to them. 
Don't be too hard on them. Doug and Gwyn both played a part in the rescue operation. If it wasn't for the two of them, Arena could have been in real trouble. Doug? Okay, yes. Gwyn? Maybe not so much. In any case, most of the credit is yours, Elma. But what else is new? Been that way since before we left Earth. Doug was saying the same thing earlier. You really are something, Elma. Hmm? Oh, uh, that. If you want to know a person's past, give them cause to tell you about it. What does Elma mean? It means Elma will tell us about it when she's good and ready. It's different now anyway. I don't have to charge in alone when I have a team like this. Besides, it's going to take more than just a handful of heroes to win the war and cultivate this planet. Ultimately, the responsibility and the accolades all go back to the commander who unifies and leads the entire operation. Well, I, uh, that's true. Which reminds me, why aren't you Blade Commander, Elma? Yes, yes! Mustache Man can still have gainful employment as personal assistant to Tatsu. Ha! <laughs> Not in this lifetime, Potato Skin. Arts Beginner. I don't know what that achievement's for, but I guess we'll find out. Maybe it's something good, actually. Uh, debris from the White Whales. Uh, we collected all debris and rescued Arena. Commander Venom was very appreciative. There we go. First of any mission complete, and we learn the dual sword art shadow strike. So, this is where we start to get into learning our party members' uh, arts, basically. Um, what we did, what we just did was actually one of Elma's uh, affinity missions, one of her main affinity missions. And by doing so, we earned one of her arts, shadow strike. So now we have the ability to perform this art. So I guess actually that's, that explains why I got that achievement. And there we go, segment recon complete, and, uh, okay, before you end, up, end off this episode, I really want to check and see this. You know I have to. Oh, we can complete a row already. Lacy potatoes. And three more down here, at least. Lucky panel. So 50% primordial collectibles are done. We got all the insects, too. We're not a medium... Okay, we'll take a look at that later. Arnasian ore wood. So prime is the most rare collectibles, uh, as rare as collectibles can possibly be, basically. So there's something even more rare than this one somehow. And uh, wow, we still have more down here. Wow. Battle points. And that's it. Okay, so 61%. Looking real, not too shabby for Primordia. All right. Um, next one to uh, check on the Affinity chart. What, where's it put us with uh, Elma and, uh, and uh, Lynn? Okay, so about one and a half hearts. And Lynn, we complete the first heart for Lynn. So now we can do Lynn's uh, Affinity mission because actually, yeah, I think the... Because the other Affinity mission right over here is actually for Lynn. And this is one where we need one heart for Lynn. So I think we'll do this in the next episode, but uh, yeah, no promises. But actually, might as well, because we can have uh, up to four party members and there's no restrictions this time. So um, I guess that's what we'll do next time, is we'll do Lynn's uh, Affinity mission. So next time, join me next time for Zenobudeto Kurasu. And uh, we'll do just that, folks. Later. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.